at last the man responsible for the cruel murder of our darling daughter so many years ago has been found guilty. However, for us the trial has been a truly awful experience. We have felt that our family, who have already suffered so much, has been on trial as much as Mr Belfield. To actually see that man in court, a man capable of such a vile and inhuman crime, has been grotesque and distressing for us. The length the system goes to protect his human rights seems so unfair compared to what we as a family have had to endure. I hope whilst he is in prison, he is treated with the same brutality he dealt out to his victims and that his life is a living hell. I can honestly say that the day my mother and father were questioned by the defence QC, Mr Samuels, was the worst day of my life. It is hard to believe, but it is, was worse than when I heard the news that the remains were that of my sister Millie. The way they can portray my lovely sister as a depressed teenager has shocked me terribly. The worst part being that she isn't here to defend herself. To have to listen to that was emotionally scarring. The scale seemed to be tipped so much towards the defendant rather than us, the family who have suffered an almighty loss. It feels like we are the criminals and our family has been on trial. The past nine years have tested our relationship as a family. There have been some extremely bad days, but we still managed some good days. Sadly, it is those good days when we realise that there is someone missing. And then I will spend the rest of the next day feeling guilty for enjoying myself. In my eyes, justice is an eye for an eye. You brutally murder someone, you should pay the ultimate price. A life for a life. So in my eyes, no real justice has been done. He took away my beautiful sister and he will now spend the rest of his time living off of taxpayers' money. We are pleased that a guilty verdict has been delivered by the jury and that Levi Belfield has been convicted of the murder of our daughter. However, we do not see this as true justice for Millie, merely a criminal conviction. My family has had to pay too high a price for this conviction. The trial has been a truly mentally scarring experience on an unimaginable scale. You have had to have been there to truly understand. Things that you would not believe could ever happen did in fact happen. The defence inferences about myself and my wife were hugely distressing. And yet again, Belfield has been spineless and gutless by not attending his sentencing in court. Thank goodness that we have so many close and wider family members and friends who have supported us through the past nine years. Tomorrow, Saturday the 25th of June, would have been Millie's 23rd birthday. And as always, we will remember the happy, fun-loving and talented girl that she was, but who was never allowed to fulfil her potential. This is a gap in our lives that can never be filled.